Today we're going to talk about brand you. We all know about the big brands. If you look around you and look on yourself, right now we're all branded. Right now I've been branded with uh, Under Armour. Everywhere you are, there is somebody branding you. Now all the big companies know the importance of branding and all of them will have big PR companies, big marketing companies, big logos. All those things are their business rights because those things are an extension of what the business is. Branding in most cases is the positive image that the customers or comes to the customer's mind when they think about you. What are the unforgettable things that your business does? What value does it add to customers that makes you stand out? Now most of us, as much as we understand branding from big companies' perspective, but when was the last time you realized that you, you are business, you are me incorporated, you are brand you and you the CEO of this brand. Now as a CEO of your company, your first job is to make sure that your brand is always positively projected to the outside world. You have to be the top marketer, you have to be the top spokesman, you have to be the top performer. Branding becomes key because if you don't brand yourself, then the competition will always be better than who you are. Now for you to become a household brand, you got to have to have uh, benefit and features, things that make you stand out. What is it about your business that makes you stand out? What is it about you that makes you stand out? But what makes us stand out purely is the mind shift, the paradigm shift, is the knowledge, is how we impart people with knowledge that they understand when they come here, we give them the right tools, the right environment, and makes it easier for them to, to, to succeed. Now, let's look at uh, Dream Body Fitness features, what makes us stand out. We're the first club, the old time, that focuses on mental health, on mental upgrade. We're the first club that decides if your mind is right, your life is right. We understand that if we give you knowledge, then it becomes easier for you to achieve your goals. We're the only first club that sits you down and makes you understand that no matter how big your goals are, no matter how big your dreams are, your mind can only go where your body goes. So if your body is broken, then your dreams are gone. We're the only club that reminds you that irrespective of how much you love your family, how much you love your kids, your wife, your husband, it's useless when you're dead because love is not a noun. If you're gonna tell people in your life that you love them, then you have to take actions that show these people that you love them by looking after themselves. So all those things, because you go through all those, they give you a very big why as to why it becomes very important. You stop fighting against yourself. 85% of people that go to gym have never been to gym. They have no idea where what's the difference between a bicep or a tricep. They have no idea what a chest press machine is or what a squat is. Now we're the only club that has what you call success coaches or fitness marshals. These are the guys on the floor that take you through the execution, proper execution of the program so that you understand what to do. You don't feel stupid. You know? We take you on a proper 12 week journey. Now it means for this 12 weeks we've done all the planning for you we have an exercise that changes every week when you come in you exactly know what you're going to do and there's always somebody to show you it saves you time it takes away stress makes it easier for you to achieve your dreams quicker the fourth thing that we do that nobody else does is we do what we call hormonally intelligent eating plan. Now we've got to always understand what drives our eating habits. Willpower can only work for a certain time. Self-discipline can only work for a certain time. There's always something that drives you and that's your hormones. So our body and our training and our eating plan always focuses on your hormones. Make sure that your hormones are completely in harmony so that you don't have craving. Cravings means your hormones are out of sync. The fifth thing that we do that nobody does is you always have to know where you are before you decide where you're going to go. When you go to a gym and you say I want to lose weight, you say I want to get fit, you have to assess first. Everything here is done on a seven day turnaround period. If it's not working, we sit down, we analyze everything. Is it you not putting in enough input? Is the program not working for you? Are there specific foods that you're eating that are not working? Those becomes the things that we, we look at. And of course, the biggest one here is motivation. You need to manage people's um, expectations. For the entire 100 days, I send you 
email messaging to tell you exactly what's happening in terms of your body, what's happening in terms of exercise, and how your body is going to respond. If you eat a salad today and you eat egg in the morning, it doesn't mean when you come in the evening it will show that you've lost weight. And all of those things make most people give up. So this makes it much, much easier for you when you come in. It becomes who we are. When we go out there, that becomes our bragging rights. What is your unique selling point? You as an individual remember one of the first things that you have to brand it's your body. Is your body leaving a positive image in our minds as customers? If it's not, then it's time for you to join us on this journey so that you can brand yourself properly.